Well, we have two sick girls in the house. So this is my first time dealing with two sick ones. This little girl has a cough. And is, oh, uh, that's probably how she got it. And is super congested. So I've been using the nasal, nasal aspirator all morning and all during the night. So today I'm just gonna show you a day in the life of a mom with two sick little kids, a four year old and a two month old. I just feel so bad. She's just such a little one. I've been giving Layla medicine, just some like cold and cough, but unfortunately there's really nothing you can give an infant for a cold unless she starts getting a fever, which I'm keeping an eye on. So far, no fever during the night or this morning. It's just making her a little more comfortable, so I'll kind of show you some things I do. I did this when Layla was baby and got sick, but just how I keep her comfortable while she's just kind of feeling so yucky. But yeah, so Layla Jane though, she's four, so she's able to take some more medicine and we've been giving her just some like children's Tylenol cold and cough. We also have Delson that we sometimes give her for her cough and just kind of see which one helps her the most. And fortunately she doesn't have a fever either so we don't have to worry about any fevers right now. So quickly realizing it's definitely harder when you have two kids sick at once, especially one that's an infant. If she's so little, she just doesn't understand and she just wants to be held. Not just with one hand, like I'm doing right now, thank goodness she just fell asleep. Okay. But both hands. I'm definitely beginning to realize how much easier, well not easier, but just it wasn't as hard. We just had one child that was sick. Now having a preschooler and an infant, the preschooler just still wants to play. She doesn't understand that she needs to rest her body. And then this little girl is only two months old and she just doesn't know what's going on and why she feels this way. So she just wants to be held. So I can't put her down. She's just irritable, she's cranky. Thank goodness she just fell asleep. Brian is getting Layla Jane settled in front of the TV right now to watch a movie. So maybe that'll keep her relaxing for a little bit and let her sleep. Remember when we're sick, it's so important to rest our bodies, right? What am I watching? Encanto. Now normally, I would be working with Miss Angie and putting her down in her snoo bassinet for naps. But since she's sick, I'll give her some little cuddles and we'll skip the snoo. I feel like when they're sick, it's okay to spoil them. If you have yourself a baby carrier, it's definitely a lifesaver because I can carry her around. She feels close to me and comforted, but then I also have free hands to be picking up, getting medicine, um, comforting Layla Jane and doing things with her. So definitely invest in a baby carrier. Layla, you didn't watch the movie for that long. We got through the main song that you like. And then <laughs> she wanted to come outside, huh? That's okay. It is kind of nice to get some fresh air when you're sick and you're stuck inside all day and it's gonna be really hot today. So we're gonna spend some time in the morning outside. Okay, so let me explain what Miss Layla Jane is doing right now. Peanut you butter. want peanut butter? The other day, Layla wanted to just watch a random old video, one of our Hey Mamas videos when she was a baby. And I happened to find one when she was sick. And now she's sick again, and so she remembers the things that she was doing in that video. So in this video, she was, gosh, not, maybe a little over one, I would say about one and a half, and she kept getting a spoonful and just wanting spoonfuls of peanut butter. So now that she's sick again, she's trying to do all the exact same things she did in that video. So you want peanut butter, which is funny because normally she doesn't really ask for peanut butter anymore. That's not one of her go-to snacks. So let's see if she really wants peanut butter and she'll eat it, or if she's just being silly. Here baby, there's your peanut butter. It's never fun being a kid and being sick and stuck at home and being told to rest all day. So I like to have some little nice, quiet, easy activities for Layla Jane to do when she starts getting a little restless. So one thing, now that she's in preschool, she'll be working on letters or working on numbers. And one thing that we've been really trying to work on is let number recognition between 10 and 20 and putting them in order. So I thought a fun activity would be to write all of the numbers, 10 through 20. I wish I would have had post-its, but I 
I cannot find any post-it notes. That would have been easier. So I'm just using paper with tape. And then I made a quick little number line and then I hid the numbers all around the kitchen. And it's gonna be Layla's job to go find the numbers and then put them on the number line in order from least to greatest from 10 to 20. This is a number line right here. I hid the numbers 10 through 20 in the kitchen. Can you go find them and then put them in order? Oh, what'd you find? 14. Good, now we'll try to start in order. Can you go find the number 10? Where's the number 10? No. Yes, that's 10, so that's our first one. Okay, Layla, what number comes after 10? Think of your counting. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So go find 11. Okay. Look all around there. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Is that eighteen? Awesome! You're almost done. Good job, just in time too. Cause this one's not happy. So I just gave Angie some saline drops, and I just want to give you guys some advice, just in case you do what I do. I treated it like Afrin the first time I used this with Layla, and I stuck it up her nose and sprayed it, and oh my gosh, she was so angry and so mad about that. And then my mom told me you can use them as drops too. You basically just hold it upside down, and it just kind of drops inside their nose. So much easier, so don't do like I did. Don't spray it up their nose. They get very upset and angry about that. So another really important thing to remember when your kids are sick is keep them hydrated. And that's something that my doctor's always told me and it's easy to do with Layla because she's old enough that I can monitor how much water she's drinking. With Angie, I just make sure she's getting enough bottles and that she's making enough wet diapers as normal because you definitely don't want them to get dehydrated. And then I also, this is a fun excuse for Layla to have lots of popsicles because that also keeps her hydrated. So right now she's enjoying a mango outshine popsicle. Another tip when yes. you have sick kids, enlist Mama. help. <laughs> Fortunately, my Mama. parents live nearby, so while Brian oh, is working and I'm home so with the girls, cute. I can have an extra set of hands. If you don't have family nearby, maybe a neighbor or a babysitter, so someone that can cute. come over and maybe give you a little relief. Because right now, Angie is very, very clingy and just needing a lot of help, so at least I have an extra set of hands to help with Layla Jane while I'm tending to Angie and pretty soon gonna be giving her a bath. I'm gonna give Angie a bath now, and I always think having a bath or a shower just makes me feel better, and I think it makes them feel better too as kids. And I went ahead and had the shower going a little bit beforehand to kind of get it a little steamy in here, because that steam will help lo loosen up some of her mucus. Rotate the washcloth to put on her because the weight of the warm washcloth kind of provides some comfort and security, but also it keeps her warm. Should we go see what your sister has poor grandma doing? There's no telling what Layla Jane has planned. I just realized my hair's kind of falling out because Layla Jane was sticking bows in my hair earlier. Layla Jane has dragged poor grandma upstairs to play school. She has fallen asleep, so I'm gonna use this time to get as much cleaning, like bottles done and ready for her next feeding, and just try to pick up a little bit in here because it's gotten so messy and it just makes me feel better when the house is clean. They're still up playing and she's still sleeping, so I'm gonna try to make a little snack for Layla Jane for when she gets hungry. And I just got these new letter little cutters, food cutters, and she loves it when I like, cut up um, her name in peppers and apples sometimes or cucumbers, and it gets her to eat fruits and vegetables. So, but it takes a while, it's a little time consuming, so I'm gonna get this done now. I still have time because she's sleeping and Layla's still upstairs. So I'm preparing myself for when my mom leaves. I wanna have a few activities for Layla Jane. And one thing we did yesterday is I drew some like little ponds. They're supposed to look like ponds on a piece of paper. And then in each pond I wrote a number. And then I gave her a whole bunch of goldfish. And whatever number was in that pond, that's how many goldfish she had to put in that pond. And it was really cute and was helping her learn number recognition and then counting and it was really fun. So today I'm trying to also teach her lately how to match up 
upper and lowercase letters because we haven't really worked a lot on lowercase letters. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one fish with uppercase letters and stick it on the pond and then hide some fishes with the lowercase letters and she has to find those and then um, match it with the correct uppercase. Or I'll hide the uppercase, I don't know which one yet. But I'm gonna try to get that done before I hear them start coming downstairs. Well, I probably should have made the fishes a little smaller or used a bigger piece of paper, but I wanted to just reuse the one I used yesterday. So, oh well, it'll still work. I feel like Layla is never gonna let my mom come downstairs and my mom is too nice to say anything. So I'm gonna bring this activity up here, see which room they're, oh, they're playing in Angie's room. So I apologize, it's a mess in there because I was sleeping with Angie last night and she was sick. So there's things everywhere. It was kind of a disaster of a night. I'm gonna bring this up and we'll just play it up here. Hello, I brought an, oh, I brought an activity up for class. Oh, yay! I'm gonna have you leave the room and I'm gonna hide these fishies that have lowercase letters on them all around the room. And then you have to go find them and match them in the right pool with their uppercase letter partner. Think you can do that? I think you can. All right, Layla. Okay, so what letter is that? Do you know which one that is or what it goes with? Can I see it? Can I see it. Okay, look at those. Which one do you think it goes with? The Y? Oh, close. I can see that. It's not the Y. So, Layla, that is a lowercase T. So, where's T. the uppercase T? Good job, Good job. Honey. Now, can you go find some more? Okay, so, Layla. Can you find the lowercase a? Good job. Good job! Even though she hasn't really been running around and um, exerting too much energy, she still has been up and about playing. So I'm making sure Layla Jane takes some quiet time and just sits and watches the show, which is something very hard for Layla to do. She doesn't like to sit for long, but hopefully she actually came up and said she's tired. So hopefully she'll sit for a little bit. Baby, baby Pooh Bear still asleep. <laughs> Probably wake her up soon to give her something to eat. So I want to make sure she's getting plenty of fluids. I love it that she's smiling so much more now. She seems a little better, but I mean, we're definitely keeping an eye on her. She is only two months old, so we've definitely got to watch that fever too. But she seems better. I'll keep doing the saline drops and the nasal aspirator. And I think tonight too, I'm going to have her sleep with a humidifier and probably Layla too because that will really help um, break up that mucus in her. And it wouldn't hurt for Layla too. Now that we have two kids, we actually bought two humidifiers because we use them so much. Grandma just left and it's early, kind of early afternoon. So we just got a little bit longer till Brian's done. And poor, this look, listen to her. She sounds awful, she's so congested. I just hate it when my girls are sick. Makes me sad, but Layla looks like, and seems like she's feeling better. Are you feeling better, girl? Oh no, she's not. We're, but poor Miss Angie, she's just not doing well, huh? So, and it's just so hot outside now, so we're stuck inside. Maybe we'll go out in a little bit when it gets a little shadier out there. We're trying to get Miss Layla to finish her apples right now. Eat some healthy food to feel better. Just trying to get her to relax still and just kind of watch a few shows still before she's off to another activity. Don't ask me why. I don't know why we're doing pie face. I think we're just bored, we're feeling cooped up, and we remembered we had this game, we haven't played it in probably like a year and a half. So I happen to have whipped cream, so why not? Why not play some pie face? And Angie's already back asleep, so this will keep her entertained. <laughs> ah! <laughs> right smack on your forehead! <laughs> Yummy! Your tongue can't reach that? I told her she could do it three times. So you got one more time, girly. I just have to keep trying. I guess just since you're playing against yourself, just whoop, there it was. There it goes. 
So to break ourselves away from pie face, I remember I had a bunch of this just plain pasta, penne pasta, and I was gonna do a project with it another day, but figured since, you know, we're homesick today, might as well just cram it in today. Normally now we don't do a, just tons and tons of activities all day. You know, normally we're out and about, we're doing things, she might have school, but since we are at home, I'm kind of going into my chest of tricks here and pulling out some activities. So I saw that you can dye dried pasta using just vinegar and some food coloring and you set it out to dry. And since it's so hot today, I'm hoping that these will dry quickly and maybe we can make some like little necklaces out of them. Some of these recipes said to use rubbing alcohol instead of vinegar, but I don't have rubbing alcohol. And, and vinegar has such a strong smell for the blue one. I just used a tiny bit of vinegar. I think I'm gonna do the next one and try not to do any vinegar and see if it still works. Cause then you don't wanna have a stinky necklace. All right, let's see how long that takes to dry. Layla's coughing more. You can probably hear Angie's coughing and she's just so congested. So I just decided to bring the humidifier downstairs. I don't know if it's really gonna be effective in such a big open space, but I'm willing to try anything right now. Oh, poor baby. She still doesn't have a fever. Layla, let's check you. Make sure you don't. Yeah. Oh, is this one you don't have to touch? <laughs> I'm green. You're okay, green, you're I'm good. Green. The pasta is dry. I have to say, the blue is definitely the prettiest. The purple one kind of turned ugly. I don't think we're gonna use that one. I just smelled them too. You actually can't smell the vinegar now that it's been out in the sun, so I didn't have to worry about that. Oh no. Oh baby. All right, maybe bottle for her and then we'll do these necklaces. This actually turned out so cute. She even put, added a little bead there in the middle. That looks so cute. And the purple doesn't look too bad on it. And it doesn't smell like vinegar. And it really doesn't smell like vinegar. So this was kind of fun. We could even do some activities with all the leftover ones, like writing out her name and then gluing those on to the letters to practice all of her letters. Lots of different things we can do with this. This was fun. 20 more minutes till Brian's done with work. So we're done with the necklaces. That didn't last quite as long as I'd hoped but she is wants she, to play school. So this is a pretty low key activity. Are you the teacher? Okay, Are we, we're learning the ABCs right now and Angie's doing very well. So teacher, what do we do next? Uh oh, still got that cough, we need to take some medicine. Is your sissy a good teacher? She's a good teacher, isn't she? So besides having a cold, we also went to the doctor's office the other day for Angie's two month checkup and found out one side of her head is flatter than the other. So we had to get her to lay on her right side more. So you'll probably see a lot of times I'm trying to get her to lay more to her right side, try to even out her head. So right now I'm sitting on her right. Look to the right. There you go, good job. She's back asleep again. I know she's only two months old, but even this was a lot of sleeping in one day. Poor thing, it's just not feeling well. I feel like Layla's feeling a little bit better though. All right, well, Brian's about done with work and I am gonna go and get some things done now and I'll have some extra help too. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll all be better next time. Bye everyone.